Well, Vitor, I guess there's been a lot of uh, speculation, we'll say, about what's going on, you know, whether whether this is going to be the last fight. But have you been able to, to say for sure, win or lose, yeah. this is the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. <laughs> People don't expect that, no? People are like, oh, my God. Yeah, I think it's just <clears throat> I made a plan a long time ago that I was going to, you know, I was praying that I asked God to, I can fight in 240. And, and here I am, you know, and I made through it. A lot of things, a lot of challenging, you know, in the way. But I think I had the longest career in the sport, I think, so far. Relevant, you know, not, not just fighting to fight, it's just relevant. I, fight, I fought the greatest guys in the, you know, upcoming, the old school. So I had a great, you know, I had gr great victories. I learned from my defeats, you know, it's a, my, my failures was, trans I transformed in success somehow. You know, it's not the way we want it, but that's kind of the way life is for all of us. And here I am, you know, just closing my chapter in, in this octagon and focusing my business. You know, I have Balfour Fitness Lifestyle is a fitness program that I create. I have been creating for years and, and now the baby born, we're so successful. We have so much now things to do and and I'm ready to start franchising this year, traveling all over the, the country, giving people be able to own their own business and provide health and, and well. And I think I always say health comes with wealth, you know. So provide this for the American people. They can enjoy and have great workout, you know, and train like a professional, but in a small way. How did you know for sure? I mean, you said you had this plan to fight till 40, but when you get to 40, you still got to make the decision, right? Like, yes, I'm, I'm ready to walk away. How did you know for sure? I mean, the sport has been such a big part of your life for so, so long. How did, how did you know, yes, I am ready to walk away? It's just, it's just like <clears throat> knowing that the time, you know, in, in life, you got to set up a time, you know, like, you know, nothing's for sure in this life. I say that nothing's for sure, but what, what makes sure? It's your will. I'm willing, you know, it's my terms, you know, that's why I did what I did, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what I accomplished for the sport inside Octon and outside as well. So I know I can contribute to the sport so much, you know, not just, you know, I think I had my as long career I could have, I know I'm thankful and I, I can contribute a lot for the sport for sure, but I'm, I'm focused on things that I, my passion, my heart is my, my, my heart is towards that and I'm excited man it's a is the money it's always a consequence of a loving and hard work so I'm willing to I, I, I did what I did and now it's time that's people got accepted and I, I do accept it and I'm happy about it nice when you were you know training camp what was training like knowing that this was it I mean was it Easy to find motivation because this was the last one. Was it was it hard to find motivation? Did you enjoy the process more? Did you dread it? I mean, what was that like? I think I'm just I'm more relaxed and very joyful for what this opportunity. You know, the closing the chapter. I think is motivation is in in everywhere. You know, you can find motivation or you don't. You know, you can you can have both. That's that's I think life. You know, when you wake up, you got to go through the same thing. You gotta go to the bathroom, wash your face, brush your teeth. How people find motivation to keep doing the same things every day. And when you have kids, and when you have wife, and when you have a family, you gotta provide. And then you got a job. So the studies show that 95% hate their jobs. Man, thinking about the world, you know, almost like, almost the whole world hate what they do. So I love what I do. And I'm having this opportunity to, Helping people get healthy and be better, and I'm closing the chapter. That's that sounds fantastic, you know. No better, more, more, better motivation than that. What will you miss the most? I mean, it's it's nice money, big paychecks. There's the fame, you know, walking out to the crowd and people cheering for you. There's the competition, you know. There's the feeling of victory. What is it that you'll miss the most? It, it, I think when you when you when you satisfy and when you go in your terms. You know, the missing part is it's, it's something that we miss a lot of stuff. 
but I think that's I'm I'm happy. You know, I'm, my body need that. You know, I think I'm I'm going to that journey now, to the second journey. So I see the retirement for me is different than how people see it. So I'm not gonna. You know, I'm I'm happy. I'm content. You know, I'm 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 content with my life. I don't depending on the lights. You know, I'm, I'm don't live out of that. I don't live out of like, man, I need that. That feed my ego. That's not what feed my egos. You know, what feed my egos is when I see someone changing their life. You know, how someone become a better person. This is what feed my ego to tell you the truth. So, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff, but it's part of life. You gotta know the time to start. You have the time to end. So, it is. So you don't think you'll be one of those guys that gets an itch a couple of years down the road and say, you know, we've seen so many people retire and then a few years later they say, give me one more. I got I to gotta try that one more time. You don't think that'll be you? You, you, don't, you never say never, but, you know, my focus now, it's my heart now, it's, I'm, I'm content. I think I can be, for sure, I have the ability in business and especially in the business that we're talking that I know the business as well, but... I'm, I think I'm capable with, with knowledge to be able to work with the sport and helping the sport get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's no doubt about it. I have so much ideas, I have so much knowledge, so many things I can do it and to be contributed. And, and, and for me, working behind scenes sometimes, you know, in life, you know, I, I'm, like I said, I'm content with the, the lights. The light was there, I was there. And, and time to go, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm not like the kind of guy that feed out of that, you know, like besides the paycheck is great, but remember money is something that I can provide, you know, so many things that I'm in business can provide money, but, but I think it's more than money. It, it's like a, what I have in my hands is I, I see a big, big, big opportunity to be able to make other people wealthy. And healthy. That's for me. It's, it's where it relies more than money. How do you want people to remember you? I mean, you came as the phenom, the teenager. You know, we we saw you literally grow up in front of our eyes. You had good days. You had bad days. You had controversy. You had a little bit of everything in your career. How do you want people to look back and, and think of Vitor Belfort? Uh, that's a good question because it's hard for you make you want to think what I think out of me. So. I know that a lot of people are going to think different stuff, but I think uh, I was a man that knew, admit my mistakes, I'm trying to get better, you know, not afraid to take risks, a man who, who faced the fears, who lived his dreams, so many stuff I think is out there. And one day I'll be able to write my story and, and be able to to be black, we call it black and white, and people can see and hear things that you reporters never took out of me. And I'll be able to share that with people, with my history. Who knows? You know, one day my life can become a movie and we can, they, can, they can really dig in in, in the privacy and, and, and what people, very curiosity, the real, the real thing, you know, like being sad for me and... Uh, for sure, uh, I promise my friend that I will be able to share a lot and give a lot. I still have a lot to give, and it's just we're still beginning. I think now the the forties are the new twenty, so I'm beginning the second journey of my life, and I'm excited. I hope so, because I'm turning forty in March, so hopefully it's like the new twenties. So you still feel like people don't know you or don't maybe understand the whole truth about you? You still feel like there's things that. People just didn't get to see? For sure, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, the things are called private. And I think that that's what drives people to TMZ, you know, the private. People want to know it, you know, what made him, what was his mistakes, what was... I want to share all my failures, I think, because the way I see failures is different than the way the world describes failures. Failures for me is, is success. So the more you share your failures, the more successful you become and you make people understand that it's okay to fail you know don't be afraid now today people are so afraid to try new things to to go ahead and and become some something in life and people are afraid to try things and and i'm not I'm, i think that's what one of the things that people are going to remember it was uh, you know when i was 
18 years, 7, 16 years old, I said, this is going to become the biggest sport in the world. And people call me crazy, and here we are. So I think we are very much, we can be very much ahead of the game. We, the sport is still not where it's going to be. You know, we have Olympics to be one day. To be there, a lot of things got to change. Starting with the, I say the most important thing in the sport people don't realize is, is the safety. And we know that the safety is not there yet. You know, people are, oh man, I love war. Oh, it's great. War is great, but you don't want your son to go to war. You want other people to fight the war. So when I mean war, I mean we need the sport. MMA is a very sport with skills. So we need more skills, less damage, and we need to start. We don't have even our, our material headgear, shin pads. We use everything from all the martial arts. We don't have MMA gear. We don't have MMA rules yet in the sense of what we can, we can become less bloody sport, more entertaining, more high-end sport. You know, we don't have still sponsorship. We don't have banks. We don't have uh, insurance companies so we we have a long way to to walk in the world that in my point of view that and that's what I want to contribute to the sport so where we can go from here we can go to a place that people don't understand imagine MMA in Olympics it's just, just imagine is, is impossible for you to imagine because MMA can take every sport they can be the biggest sport in the Olympics okay but how are we gonna get there you know, what we need to do, what we need to sacrifice. And, and sometimes people are afraid to sacrifice, to change some stuff, create some stuff. Who knows? The Legend League, you know. So many things out there, they still going to take guts. You know, we need people with, with guts. He said, we, we got to go. Just like Lorenzo had guts to put all his money, you know, and believe in Dana's vision. So we need to, we need to have, the, now we need to have the same kind of mentality that these guys had years ago to go to the next level. So even though you're going to be focused on your fitness and your gym business, you're not going away from mixed martial no, arts. No, I want to. I want to. I want to contribute. I have so much to contribute, and the future is is there. You know, it's it's the opportunity is always going to be there, and I'm willing for. I'm looking for a great opportunity, and, and that's all I ask. If you give me an opportunity, you give me access. The money is going to be there. And everything is going to be there. Is there a night you look back on your career and think that was the greatest, that was the best that ever happened to me? Oh, man. I think so many nights was good. I had some bad nights as well. <laughs> so I had it all. You know, I can say that I had it all. It's, it's going to be kind of a wrap. I had it all. <laughs> I had it all. <laughs> Any regrets? Any, anything that, sure, you, that sure. you'd say, man, I wish I could have changed this. I wish I would have done this differently. So many things. If you don't have regrets, I think you waste of living. You know, who doesn't regret? Nobody's God. And we can be son of God, <laughs> but we are disobeying and we are we don't have the right behavior. You know, we make mistakes and we fail, and that's part of life. That's what makes Steve Jobs who he is, Bill Gates who he is, Warren Buffett who he is. So failures, Albert Einstein's failures make great things, you know. That's what the world is today, you know, we're here. I'll be able to talk to these cameras because someone was willing to take a risk and try new things and create this camera, create this microphone. And, and I think that's the world, it's the guys that make things happen. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure that I'm gonna be remembered one of the guys that makes things happen. And I, I mess a lot of things happen too. <laughs> a lot of things I, I mess up, so that's who I am. So we're talking about this career retrospective, but you've got a fight on your hands, yes, right? Yes. You've got Uriah Hall, a very dangerous guy. Uh, I want to ask, when they came to you with this name, I, I mean... I was proud. You know me, I'm looking for a great competition. You know, he's a great competitor. He's one of the best in the division. He's an upcoming legend, like coming up, coming, these guys, you know, he's going to become a legend of the sport, no doubt it. And he's a great competitor. I'm, I'm looking forward for Sunday and have fun and this is my last competition with what's a it, great opponent. I was going to say, what's it going to be like? Have you thought about, you know, walking in? I mean, you've done it so many times, but will you take a little extra second to look around, maybe soak it in a little bit, you know, knowing this is the last time? Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. Simple as it is. I enjoy the ride and I have a last ride. One more wave to surf. 
how do you go out in this one? I mean, is it uh, is it important to you that, that you go out on a winning note? Does that matter to you, or is it more just? just I want to fight my best fight. I want to have my best night. It's hard. Like, of course, I want to win, but I don't have control of that. You know, I, I wish I, I had undefeated career. You know, I wish I never fell. I wish every day was perfect. I wish, but I wish is not what it is. You know. I wish today wasn't raining, but it's raining. So things that you cannot control, it's a waste of time thinking about, you know, thinking about that. So I, what I can control, I want to all go out there and do my best on Sunday night. That's all my, my coaches, my family, my friends, my parents, my fans, not all of them. Some of them say, you got to win, you got to win. So it, of course, but I don't control that. If I could, everybody would be rich healthy, nobody would die, but that's not the world we live in. So today a lot of people die, a lot of people are surfing, so that's the world we live in. We need to learn how to deal with good and bad.